Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to simplify this nice algebraic expression. So if we have 4 to the power of 10 minus 4 to the power of 8. Uh, so here we write this algebraic expression into the simplified form. Uh, but here you remember one thing is that calculator is not allowed in this problem. Uh, it means that uh, we will show all of the working on this paper. So here uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first we need to focus in the basis of these two terms and you see here we have the basis are 4 uh, so that now we uh, rewrite this 4 as uh, we write this 4 as 2 square and its whole power 10 minus we write this 4 as uh, 2 square and its whole power is 8. So further in the, in the next step here uh, we need to uh, apply the exponent law you know that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n. So according to this exponent law uh, here we need to multiply these two exponents and it will be written as this is 2 to the power of 2 times of 10 equals to 20 minus this is 2 to the power of 2 times of 8 is equals to 16. So now further in the next step we need to uh, simplify uh, these two terms and now here uh, we again break uh, this value as in this form so this is 2 to the power of 20. Uh, we write this 20 as uh, 16 plus 4 minus this is 2 to the power of 16. So here we use this exponent law if you have a to the power of m plus n it is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So according to this exponent law uh, here we break this exponent and it will be written as 2 to the power of 16 multiplied by 2 to the power of 4 minus this is again our 2 to the power of 16. So further you see here that from both of these terms we have 2 to the power of 16 be the common term. So we take common 2 to the power of 16 and we obtain the remaining terms are. So here we get 2 to the power of 4 minus 1. So now here in the next step. So here we see that this 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16 and we write this 2 to the power of 16 as we break again the 16 as 2 times of 8 uh, and we re replace this 2 to the power of 4 equals to 16 minus 1. So here we apply uh, the exponent law in the first term and we write the first term as if you have a to the power of m multiplied by n. So we write it as a to the power of m to the power of n. So according to this exponent law uh, here we uh, move the exponent 8 inside the term and it will be written as 2 to the power of 8 and its whole square and it is multiplied by this is 16 minus 1 becomes here 15. So here we uh, very well know about the meaning of 2 to the power of 8 square. Its meaning is that 2 to the power of 8 is multiplied by 2 to the power of 8 and it is also multiplied by 15. So here our next target is to find the product of these bigger numbers. Uh, so first we need to find the value of 2 to the power of 8. Uh, so you know that the meaning of 2 to the power of 8 is that we multiply 2 by 8 times. Uh, in this way okay uh, so here you see that this is uh, 2 is multiplied by 8 times and you see here this is 2 times of 2 is 4 4 times of 2 is 8 8 times of 2 is 16 16 times of 2 is 32 32 times of 2 is 64 64 times of 2 is 128 128 times of 2 is 256 it means that 2 to the power of 8 is equals to 256 okay so now we replace this value on these two places so that our above expression uh, is written as in this form first we replace this 2 to the power of 8 is 200 and 56 multiplied by 256 and it is also multiplied by 15. 
so now here in the next step first we need to multiply these two bigger values so here i can use the smart method in which we can easily multiply this these values without using the calculator so uh, here first we need to break this value so we write this 256 as uh, 200 and plus 50 and plus 6 and at the last we multiply it with this 15 so further in the next step uh, here we have uh, we now uh, multiply this number separately on both of these values it will be written as 256 multiplied by 200 plus 256 multiplied by 50 plus 256 multiplied by 6 and at the last we multiply the resulting answer with 15. So first we multiply all these values and you see here we first consider this is one digit number and this is three digit number so when you multiply this zero with this number we will get zero when we multiply this zero with this number you again get zero and now we multiply two with this number you get here two six are twelve we write two and carry one two five are ten ten plus one is eleven we write one and carry one two two are four four plus one is five in the same pattern we multiply this number with this number so here we consider this is one and this is two digit number so when we multiply zero with this number we get zero and five times of this number equals to five six the thirty we write uh, zero and carry three five five the twenty five twenty five plus three is twenty eight we write eight and carry two five two the ten ten plus two is twelve plus here we multiply six with this number you get six six the thirty six uh, we write 6 and carry 3, 6, 5 is a 30, 30 plus 3 becomes 33, we write 3 and carry 3, 6, 2 is a 12, 12 plus 3 becomes here 15. So first we add all of these numbers and at the last we multiply it with 15. So here we add these numbers, you see here this is 0 plus 0 plus 6 is equals to 6 this 0 plus 0 plus 3 equals to 3 this 2 plus 8 is 10 10 plus 5 is 15 we write 5 and carry 1 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 4 plus 1 is 5 and 5 plus 1 is 6 and here we need to multiply this number with 15 and now in the next step we need to multiply this number with 15 and now we break our 15 as this is 6 double 5 3 6 and we write this 15 as 10 plus 5 so here we multiply this number with these two values so when you multiply this number with 10 you get here 6 double 5 3 6 0 when you multiply this with this number you get here 6 double 5 3 6 and it is multiplied by 5 so now here in the next step we have 6 double 5 3 6 0 plus so we have 5 6 uh, 13 5 6 uh, 30 we write 0 and carry 3 so 5 3 is uh, 15 15 plus 3 is 18 we write 8 and carry 1 5 5 is uh, 25 25 plus 1 is 26 we write 6 and carry 2 5 5 is again 25, 25 plus 2 27, we write 2, we write 7 and carry 2, 5 6 is 30, 30 plus 2 becomes 32. So in the final step we need to uh, add these two values and we get the final answer. So we have 0 plus 0 is 0 and 6 plus 8 is 14, we write 4 and carry 1. So 3 plus 6 is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10, we write 0 and carry 1. So this is 5 plus 7 is 12, 12 plus 1 is 13, we write 3 and carry 1. So 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 plus this one is 8 and 6 plus 3 is 9. So this is the our final answer of this question. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.